Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the next episode of Kingdom Hearts. It's Mr. Madison with Mr. Madison Plays. How's everyone doing today? Okay, so <clears throat> the last thing that we did was we uh, got all of our... what we needed to be done in the beginning tutorial. We're still in the tutorial. We're still on Destiny Island. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this shack and we're going to go talk to our uh, female friend companion. Uh, and she's gonna give us a few things to do. So let's go ahead and uh, get on that and start doing it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, can you gather the rest of the supplies? Sora, are you listening to me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, here's what you need to find. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. I'm counting on you. Okay, so this lovely lady right here, her name is Kyrie, and she's one of the main characters in the game as well. She's going to be in the game throughout the whole series. You're going to see her multiple times. Okay, let's go ahead and start looking for all the supplies. Remember, it was two logs, which here is one right here. It was one cloth and one rope. On our way, we're going to be talking to those three individuals, one on the dock, one up at the top, and then the man sitting against the rocks over there. So let's go ahead and start talking to yeah. Sophia, and we're going to battle her. Ah, the breeze feels great. What? Um, what you up to these days? We never see you. Want a duel? All right, now you're talking. Okay, don't okay. Before I start this in any of these battles, one thing that I do want to recognize and let you guys know is you're going to be seeing a lot of things over people's heads saying tech, P1, P2, tech 2, it's, it's, it's all the same thing. Basically, whenever I do a counter, and what a counter is, if they use a move on me and I use a move on them to counter their moves to single it out. What happens is I get a tech or a P1, and basically what that is, is it's it ultimately going to give me a uh, experience point for each time I do that. So, when fighting Sophia, uh, Watai, or Wham Watai Whammy, I don't remember what his name is, uh, over by the rocks, and then um, Titus that's up at the top over there, um, you're going to be noticing me not actually going after them and trying to take them out. You're going to be noticing me trying to counter them as much as possible to gain me some levels. So there it is, Tech P1. I do want to make it quick, so I'm, just, I'm not going to uh, sit there and just let them die by hitting them on self. But there's, there's that. I just level up my defense one, so my defense is a little bit better now. Sophia is the easiest one to defeat, and she does give me one defense when I do defeat her. Uh, next in rating of difficulty, I am going to actually go fight Titus, which is up top. But before I take the ladder to go see him, I'm actually going to take a detour going this direction to uh, go up the ladders. Do, 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 do. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just simply come in here and here is the cloth. Next, I'm going to just go ahead and do a jump. Jump all the way down here. And then come up here. And there is no fall damage in this game, so don't worry. Don't worry about me losing any health. Okay. Uh, and rope is right here. So all I had to do was find one more log and I'm done for today. But before that, let's go ahead and talk to Titus. Hey Sora, feeling a little competition? Uh, you're asked for it. All right, let's go. This is a little bit more easier to, uh, to parry or counter as I start getting hit and I start getting hit. Don't hit me again. Oh. 
Sometimes I do need a little bit of composition, so if I'm not saying nothing, I do apologize. Just give me a couple seconds while I'm concentrating, especially when fighting these low-level ones. Don't you dare. Well, that's what I'm doing. There you go. Okay, so you probably noticed, not with Sophia, but Titus, um, my health. Uh, so, basically, um, my health, when it gets to a certain point in damage, uh, it'll get to the point where I will start feeling really, really low, and you'll start hearing that uh, non-stop ringing. Uh, and it's just basically telling me that I'm close to uh, passing out and have to go to the continue screen. It's going to be happening a lot of times, I'm not going to lie. It's going to happen a lot of times, especially with the difficulty that I'm on. And because I'm trying to do this as fast, but not as fast as possible, so you guys could be able to have, see some stuff, I'm not going to do that much grinding or building up levels and stuff like that. So uh, that's one thing that's going to be a big problem for me. Hey, what's happening, man? Okay. Yo, what's up for a... Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, yo, you up for a round? Sure, let's play. So, uh, play is for kids. This is serious. So his thing is he... His weapon that he uses is going to be something called a blitz ball. Um, the game that he comes from is uh, Final Fantasy X. And in Final Fantasy X, they have this sport it's called blitz, uh, blitz ball. And the best way to think about it, and I don't ask me how they do it, is... Uh, they have this water dome, and inside the water dome, uh, they play pretty much soccer, and you have to get to one side to the other side, and they literally play it from start to finish, and they stay in the water the whole time. So I have no clue on how, but he, t him and Titus up there, they're both on the same team, they come from the same game, so he's going to be trying to use his, uh, his uh, blitz ball to take me out. But I'm going to try dodging as best as possible. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, let, let's just say that I was too focused on trying to get counters, so I'm going to try, try them again. Um, I was too, like I said, too focused on trying to get the counters to be able to hit him. So we're going to not try messing with him and just try going in for attack. Ow. Oh, every time. Down. You know, probably logging on, uh, locking onto him would be good. Get out of there. He has the most health too, so it's kind of difficult. Out of there. Move. Get out of there. Move out of that. Don't want to get hit by that. Oh. Still no. Ooh, dodge. Nope. I don't even know how that even hit me. Okay. Let's not worry about um, him. It doesn't really... He doesn't really give me anything if I win or anything. It's just for fun and stuff like that. Give me those quick levels. Can we get on the house, please? Thank you. Um, so we're going to go to get the last log. And the last log is actually over here. Right there. 
Uh, but first, before that, I'm going to talk to this uh, guy up here. His name is Riku. He is also another character that will be in all the Kingdom Hearts games as well. Pretty much all the Kingdom Hearts games. Um, and if you guys thought that I kept on losing to uh, Wafai over there, um, no. He, Riku himself, is a lot more difficult. And um, he's more of the person that is about uh, more competition between me and him. So, he says, uh, do you get, uh, not do, did you get everything we needed for the raft? I give my stuff to Kyrie. Hey, Sora, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. Okay, you're on. This one's for the championships. So, uh, while I'm on the island, I can challenge him as many times as I want, and he always keeps score. Unlike the other, one, other kids on the beach, they don't keep score. He does, because he's my rival. forgot about that. Oh, I'm lucky I dodged that one. Behind him, he jumps. Ow. Dodge. And I hit him one more time. Move. Hit him one more time. Move. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, move. Hit, hit, hit. Move, hit, move. Hit. Oh, 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 I could have got hit. I should have moved, should have known about that. Go behind him, he makes a move, or not. No! <laughs> I knew I should have not. Ah. Okay, that's enough playing around for right now. Let's go ahead and collect the log. Let's go ahead and go and turn into Kyrie and get this going. Oh, almost fell out. Thanks, Sora. I found something today. Here. Uh, it's yours. I got a high potion. Uh, tired. Wanna call it a day? Yeah. Let's go home. Okay. It's getting late. We'll finish up tomorrow. out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I... I haven't really thought about it. It's just... I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? 
Haupu fruit. If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so that's the end of day one. Oh, a little bit more cutscenes. That's a big chamber. It's Pluto. This game's not in 3D. Hey there, Donald. Good morning. We've got a problem, Goofy. But don't tell anyone. Ooh. Queen Minnie? Not even the queen. Daisy? No! It's top secret. Oh, good morning, ladies. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> um, a few of the points of interest that I would like to talk about on that, what we just watched. Um, <clears throat> so, the get-ups that everyone was in, uh, Minnie Mouse, uh, Daisy, Donald, and Goofy, why they were all in those costumes and not what we normally see them. Uh, so, again, this is part of the uh, Kingdom Hearts realm, so you do got the Disney movies and TV shows, you got the... Final Fantasy and stuff like that. So, in Kingdom Hearts, Donald Duck is, as they call, a mage. Someone who does uh, a magic and stuff like that. So, as you saw, uh, Goofy sitting there sleeping when Donald came up and running on him, he shot at lightning at him, and he only did that because he is a mage. He's able to cast lightning, a blizzard, fire, uh, and more and more spells that we'll definitely get over the time of playing a game. Um, and Goofy, he is a knight, so he had the armor on, the, the whole knight outfit. Um, so you didn't hear the word Mickey Mouse the whole time. And the reason is, there's actually one legitimate reason on why you didn't hear the word Mickey Mouse. All you kept on hearing was the king. So, as you guys know, I, whenever Mickey Mouse's name does get bring up, I usually say the king, the king, the king. I have always been groomed to say the king because whenever I play Kingdom Hearts, we never really say king or we don't really really say Mickey Mouse. We always say King Mickey because Mickey Mouse is the king the higher up. When everyone when everyone thinks Disney, they think Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. So he's the king. And of course, Minnie Mouse has to be the queen. And so the has to be a princess as well and the princess is actually Princess Daisy. So they all have a part, the roles that they fill and stuff like that. So we will touch bases with Donald and Goofy and Queen Minnie and Daisy. We're going to touch bases with them a little bit more 
uh, as the episode maybe goes on, or maybe in episode three we will. Okay, let's go on a little bit more further. Some things have changed. You notice that she is still sitting on the um, the docks. Uh, Wat, uh, Wat, Wati, or whatever how you say his name, is over there now, and Titus is over there. So let's go ahead and... What we're first going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to do a quick save, drop one down right quick, and then we will go and try to find Kyrie and see if she has to, another list for me to do. Okay. So let's go back up this way again. And last time I saw her, she was over here. She is not over here. And we can come over here into the cove. Okay. So we got Riku here. I don't see Kyrie. Let me let's talk to Riku. Hey Sora, our raft still needs a name. How about we call it the High Wind? What would you call it? I always I, I some people change the name of what we should name the raft since we're building it. A lot of people will change it, but I've always agreed with Excalibur. I think that's a pretty good name as well. So I'm gonna stick with the Excalibur. Me, well, hmm, Excalibur? How about the usual? Let's do it. Are you guys at it again? All right, I'll be the judge. The usual rules apply. Take any route you want. First one to tag the, uh, tag that tree and make it back if I wins. Win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win, I get to share the Palpu with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a Palpu with Kyrie. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, on my count. I always lose at this, so don't don't expect me to win. Like right now, like I'm trying to jump, but it's not letting me jump. Yep, there's no way that I'm going to win now. It's fine. Uh, it, you are automatically thrown into it. Well, I guess you can practice a little bit first. But yeah, I usually never win the first time, and it's fine. Now the score is zero two. All right, we're naming the raft Highland. Okay, Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Okay, nope, Kyrie's gonna be actually over here. I already know a few things that she's wanting me to collect, but I gotta talk to her first before actually collecting them. Today we're collecting provisions. Provisions are just items that we can eat while we are at sea uh, for our trip. Let's see, Sora, you're looking for one seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, three fish, and fill this up with drinking water, but not from the ocean. And I received an empty bottle. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. Okay, first one is going to be in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit there and move this. One mushroom. Uh, I know where approximately all items are at, so you just got to bear with me. We're going to lift this. It's going to take a little bit of while. But there's a chest up there, and I got to get the chest. And that gives me the uh, protect chain 
and we're gonna go ahead and equip that we're gonna go ahead and head into uh, equipment and we're going to attach this but that does is if you see uh, HP uh, MP AP strength and defense if you're noticing on defense it goes from five up to six all right then. there's the mushroom right here um, like I said I'm just trying to remember where everything is at oh let's drop down here right quick because right here is where we're gonna get the water at We're gonna sit here and take this up. So I believe the coconuts are actually over here as well. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I guess you just hit it. Yep, we're looking for this one. And it says two coconuts, right? Oh, there's that one. Okay. So we got all the coconuts. We got two of the mushrooms. Um, we got the water. Um, we need the seagull egg and fish. I believe the seagull egg and fish are on this side. Okay. Of course the fish is not going to be in the water. There's one right there. It's going to go ahead and take a swim for it. Pick it up. It's one fish. Come here, fishy. Come here, fishy. Two fish. And there's the other one right there. Oh, come here. Another fish. Okay. And a seagull egg is up in that tree up there, as you see. We're not going to go through the shack this time. We're just going to jump up here. And then we're going to climb this. Face the, the way the tree is facing. Oh. Seagull egg. Okay. Now the fun part is just trying to remember where was that last mushroom at? Because truthfully, I don't remember. Maybe? Yes. I believe the last mushroom was in here. The secret place. And it's right there. to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand. What a strange encounter. 
There's no way that he could have just left. The only way out of here is this weird door. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, how did this... How did he get here? So it's just a random thing there. And other way out would be through where we came in at. But... Going on further, we're looking at a bunch of stuff on the walls that was put on here. Um, so it's just all different things that we see and stuff like that. Uh, the funny thing is, is that it's, uh, you really can't see or well, really understand it, but uh, as the kids were drawing all these things, they're actually uh, explaining the game, actually. Like, here's Donald... Uh, Donald's right there. Um, let's see what else can we see. Um, um, I know that's Donald. Uh, this up here, this one up here, uh, with the bats and the, the the bigger bird. That's actually supposed to be Maleficent and her crows. Um, but. They, the, all these do represent something, but I just totally forgot what they were, in a sense. So, let's go ahead and head back and uh, give Kyrie those uh, items, and we will call it a day on uh, this day. Not the episode. We've still got a little bit more left to go on to this episode. So, we're actually going to come this way. And we're going to jump up here. And take the easy route back, going through this way. And this will put us back right here again. Jump on a tree, jump on a tree, tree, and down. Okay, we should have everything. She did give me a big list, but I think we have everything. Um, this, I'm making a necklace of the Alassa shells. In the old days, sailors always wore the Alassa shells. They were supposed to... Uh, assure a safe voyage. See this? It's a charm to help us find each other if we ever get separated. The three of us will always be together. Thanks, Sora. I found something today. <laughs> Two. Here, it's yours. I got another high potion. Tired? Wanna call it a day? Yeah. Let's go home. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. We should rest up. Okay, so... Okay. You know, Nicholas changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Huh? <laughs> Just kidding! What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kyrie. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Donald. Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's something troubling brewing. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one and means disaster can't be far behind. I have to leave you- I was reading that. Uh, there's someone with a key, a key to survive, so I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him, got it? Uh, we need that key or we're doomed, so go to Traveler's Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. P.S. Would you apologize for Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Huh? Oh? oh dear! What could this mean? It means we'll just have to trust the king. Gorge, I sure hope he's all right. Go, Alice. Go, Lily. Go, 
Jiminy Cricket, at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please, help the king. <laughs> Gorge, Jiminy. Your world disappeared, too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Don't you? Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Right. World border. <laughs> Guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. A storm? So I'm going to pause it right here. We're getting kind of in, towards the end of the video here. Um, I do want to pause it right here uh, because we're do, we are seeing a lot of uh, information and stuff like that. So one thing I do want to say is um, there's a two-parter for this one is inside my class. If you guys have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to tell me to pause the video and I will explain whatever you need to know and I'll explain everything to you uh, without spoiling anything as well. Um, now, if you are watching this video and you want something to be explained, please drop a comment down below and I will answer said question if you have any questions 
uh, at any point in time. This could be on this video. This could be on the next video. I will, I, in the beginning of the next video, I will try to remember to say this as well. Is that if you have any questions at any point in time, you can drop a, que um, a comment or ask me in class. And then I will explain everything that you need to know uh, for that point in time. So, um, things, are about to uh, things are about to start heating up. So, good stuff is about to start happening. Some good action is about to start happening. We're about to be done with the tutorial, though. This is the end of the tutorial right here. Okay, I'm not able to hit these guys. Okay. Nope. 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 I don't want to get hit by them. Um, okay, I can't hit them, so, um... Um... Oh, okay, I see Riku. Let's go see Riku real quick. Oh, there's the door over Where's there. Kairi? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Power of light. Riku's not there anymore. Keyblade. Keyblade. Oh, look at that. Now I can hit him. I want to level up at least one time before the trap's going on. Okay, I'm actually going to take this onto the beach because they keep falling down into the water, which is not letting me uh, get any levels. So, taking this onto the beach now. Oh, okay. There's levels up before. Okay. So now my strength went up because I leveled up, so the amount of times that I have to hit these guys is a lot less, which makes things a whole lot more easier. Okay, we're gonna come in here right quick, we're gonna look at status. I need to take out 36 more of them for me to be able to level up. So we're, we're gonna do at least one more. I know I said one more level, but we're gonna do one more level. Oh, I keep getting hit. There should be about 30 of them here. Where are we at? 25. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Come on. 
Okay, we're going to come on this side. None spawning, that's fine. Get them here. Ow. 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 it quick up here where are we at we only need four more we're gonna head this way and hope that four more pops up because we're gonna head over to this door because we saw I we saw that door in the cutscene oh can we get up there nope can we get over here oh okay one more defense leveled up okay We can sit there and keep going and going, but they keep respawning and respawning, so there's no point on trying to uh, uh, take them out. It's going to be just a grinding session there, so we're just going to keep on going from then on out. Kyrie. Sora. This big guy again. And this time I have the Keyblade now, so it should be a whole lot more stronger. Sir, can I have your hand, please? Thank you. Oh, no, don't hit me. Ow. Remember, as I said in the first episode, jumping actually finishes a whole lot faster, so that's why I do a lot of jumping. Not just because his hand's up in the air. Take him out real quick. Come back over. So I'm guessing the stars represent the worlds that are disappearing. As Don, uh, Mickey Mouse said, is a lot of stars are going out. So I guess those are other worlds. Uh, but right now we're in Traveler's Town. Right now, this is not a Disney World though. Hey, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon. Oh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that. Uh... Ah, what do you know, you big pale cat? What do I know? Come on, Pluto!
Huh? What a dream. Ah! This isn't a dream. Oh, where am I? Oh, boy. Do you know where we are? Oh. Hey! Okay, so we are actually in Traveler's Town now. Um, it will be explained more onto the next episode. But basically, I don't want to give out too much information because a lot of it's going to be definitely explained as we're going. But one of the biggest things is that if a world does get taken over or eclipsed, as you know, Riku put it, uh, by the Heartless, the some of the uh, people that come from those worlds end up in this world, which is Traveler's Town, which is basically a safe haven for them. So I was on Destiny Island, and my Destiny Islands was one of those worlds that got and take uh, got taken over. So I ended up here. Uh, Kyrie ended up somewhere, and Riku ended up somewhere, and we'll figure out where they ended up in later episodes. Um, I'm going to go and try to find a save point. I know where one is, but I don't know if a cutscene is going to happen. So let's go ahead and head to that save point and see if no, no cutscenes happen, okay? This is totally weird. I'm in another world. And right there, if you if you think that's that Titus person from Destiny Island, that is not Titus. It looks like him. Each time I see him, I think it's Titus. But it's like it's like a it's like a Titus, but with my hair color. It's funny. Okay, so I know that one of my students got a little plushie, or not a little plushie, a little squeezable toy. And I always call it a Moogle. And this right here is a Moogle right here. There's little cool little creatures. It's a Moogle. Don't don't ask me why, but I, thought, I always like Moogles. Okay, so I know I usually come in here. And this is where I can find the safe point, which is that little green thing over there. Hey there. How can I... Oh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid. My name is Sora. Okay, okay. Shimmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? Well, no, well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traveler Town? So, Gramps, is this another world? Don't call me Gramps. My name is Sid. Anyways, not sure what you're talking about, but this is... This ain't your island. Hmm... Guess I better start looking for Kai uh, Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with that anyways. If it is what you're doing. Uh, if you ever run into trouble, you come to me. I'll look out for you. Awesome, awesome. So this is Sid. Sid comes from... Truthfully, this... Is, so the fun thing about Sid. Sid is part of the Final Fantasy series. He is in majority of all Final Fantasies. But the thing is, is that every Sid looks different. So this Sid right here, this version of Sid, comes from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, which more to always, a lot of people would say Final Fantasy was the best Final Fantasy. But it's more of an opinion. But he comes from Final Fantasy VII. Can I get up here? Yep. Boop, boop. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop that save. Uh, save, yep. And drop that save. Okay, with that being said, um, the last things I do want to say is that uh, thank you for everyone stopping on by today to watch this long episode. Um, the first episode was basically the get up uh, and going episode. That's why it was only 30 minutes long. Uh, this episode right here was finishing out the rest of the tutorials, teaching us to move, to jump, to look, to do everything that you need to know for the tutorial. We are now officially in what they would call chapter one. 
Uh, so going on further, um, I believe what I'm going to try doing, uh, because every single episode is going to be an hour long. I'm not going to try to make it any more longer, but every single episode is going to be an hour long. Just know that right there. Um, on top of that as well, the worlds, when we go into certain worlds, because we're going to be going into a lot of Disney worlds. Um, one thing I do want to just let you know is half the time they are an hour to an hour and 30 minutes long. If I'm just going through, if I'm looking for stuff and I'm actually explaining stuff, it's probably going to be an hour to um, two hours just to complete each world. So Thursdays for final or for Kingdom Hearts is going to be a long one. And we're going to be sticking with Kingdom Hearts for a while because Kingdom Hearts is one of my, like I said in the first episode, one of the games I hold dear to my heart. So I hope you guys again, going back to what I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed me explaining what I could explain. Again, if you did have any questions going on further, or even this episode right here, please, please drop a comment and I'll answer it whenever I do get the notification that someone did comment on the video. And always do like if you enjoyed the video. And if you have not subscribed already and you want more content, not just from Kingdom Hearts, but all the other games that I play on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, um, go ahead and drop a subscribe and you'll be notified uh, whenever anything goes down as well as uh, hitting that bot um, bell icon. With that being said, thank you again for stopping on by. This was Mr. Madison with Mr. Madison Plays. I'll see you guys next Thursday.